So you were homeschooled your entire life? Yeah. Was well, uh, there a particular reason why? Because uh, my parents were very religious and they thought public school was uh, full of demons. It's confusing. Okay. It's very complicated. No, no, no. I mean, look, that's, that's a legitimate reason. By the way, public, look, public school is filled with demons. But... <laughs> But dealing with those demons is a necessary part of, of, of your growth. Call from Audrey. Audrey! Oh my god, hi! <laughs> How are you, Audrey? I'm alright, how are you? Uh, you know, I'm cooling. I'm, um... I can... I'm over I can... here. I can see that, you look real chill. I love the Christmas tree. Oh, thank you so much, Audrey. That's so nice of you to say. I, I, I stole it off the internet myself. That's a great way to go about it. Um, so wh what are you up to, dude? You seem like a good person. Have we ever spoken before? No, we have not. <laughs> how, does it, um, how does it feel? It. I, my heart is racing. <laughs> oh, I've been so watching your stream for a bit now. I'm really excited oh, really? to be on. <laughs> Oh fuck yeah, dude! I'm always, I'm glad when people who've watched for a long time, but haven't gotten on, finally get on, dude. I'm I'm so really excited. Get into the weeds. I have a question there... for you this evening, Audrey. Oh, yes. What's the question? Um, have uh, you know? Look, it's Christmas time, right? And yep. now's a good time, I think, for us to uh, you know sort of evaluate the self mm. and. You know, determine whether or not we have been naughty or nice. So I have a question for you, Audrey. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Um, you know, I'm boring. I've been really nice. <laughs> I've accomplished some goals. Did uh, did some good things. Very happy about it. Okay, what have you accomplished? Well, um, I started my first year of college. It's been eight years since I've been in school, and really happy about that i was really scared of school for a long time i kind of didn't go to school before so this is really cool why why were you scared of school uh because i didn't go to school <laughs> i was like technically homeschooled but i basically just taught myself everything so are you, are um, you 18 or are you like you just graduated i'm, tw I'm, high school? I'm 20 i'm 26 now okay wait actually i turned 26 on the 26th I'm 25. Why, why were you, why were you avoiding Why were you avoiding going to college? Uh, because I had never been in a classroom before, and uh, uh, okay. it was very intimidating. And I just didn't um, feel smart. <laughs> but now I finally feel smart, so that's really cool. Well, so you so you you so you were homeschooled your entire life. Yeah. Was well, there a particular reason why? Uh, cause my parents were very religious and they thought public school was, uh, full of demons. It's confusing. Okay. It's very complicated. No, no, no. I mean, look, that's, that's a legitimate reason. By the way, public, look, public school is filled with demons, but, <laughs> the, but dealing with those demons is a necessary part of, of, of your growth. So d just because public <laughs> school is filled with demons, that's a legitimate Opinion to have, but not. I don't think it's a good thing to avoid. I think dealing with those demons is is, is part of uh, part of self development. But well, I I um, wish I had a I wish I had a chance. I, I did not get the chance back then. <laughs> are you Are you religious now? No, not not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. Um. So what? I mean, what was going on between eight? You know, eighteen to twenty-six. Why? What? Uh, what were you doing? You were in, Were you like working? I was working. I've been working. I've been working as a nanny for eight years, okay. and uh, I just kind of had to run away from home for a while and figure myself out. <laughs> what was like the spark that got you? You know, I mean, after eight, after eight years, you know, there, what, what was the thing that sort of got you like, all right, I'm going to go to school? Well, uh, it took me a long time to kind of build up the confidence to feel like I could be educated. I, I, I have a lot of uh, confidence issues with that. So it took me a long time. And I think the thing was, is that I lost my job due to COVID and uh, I had some money set aside. And I was like, you know what? I, I think it's time to do something new. Interesting. 
So, but so, okay, and then the COVID was another thing I was going to mention because are you, are you going to in person school? I have no idea what, what's going on with that. Yeah, no, it's all online. I'm really, okay. really thankful for that. So all really online. Thankful for that. Yeah, no, I liked it a lot. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared of people. I'm a little. I know you're scared of people, but I, th- I th- to me, I thought that was the whole thing. I thought the whole thing was your, this triumphant moment of you being like, you know what? I'm gonna face oh. my fears. I'm gonna go into the classroom and, and you, know. you know, that was the plan. <laughs> that yeah. was the plan. I think I was like planning on. I was planning on taking a couple classes and was like, yes, I'm ready to be in a classroom, ready to have a teacher. That is going to be a new thing for me. Um, yeah, and then COVID happened, and then everything was online. But still, the educating thing was a, a big part of it all. What are the What are the main things that you hope to get out of school? Um, hmm, I know this is kind of weird, but I want to learn how to be taught. You know, like I want to learn how to. Uh, I had to learn so much for myself, like because I had to teach everything to myself growing up, and so it's kind of nice to know that there's. I, I don't know somebody who has qualifications <laughs> to teach me, <laughs> and I'm I'm just uh, I, I hope that I get out of it like a willingness to learn more and um, yeah that's I I think that's the main thing. Who taught Who taught you when you were in homeschool? Was it t- like uh, literally your parents? Me. Don't they? My you. myself. My brother didn't know how to read, so they spent a lot of time focusing on him. So I Isn't basically there, like, had some a thing where like. Th- I, I have no idea how this works. You know how this works significantly. Of course, you know how this works more than I do. The, isn't there a thing where, like, there's a legal requirement for someone of a license, someone to teach you something? Uh, it's It depends on state to state. Um, I, I don't know if I should disclose where I live. But, like, my state is it has no regulations when it comes to homeschooling. So, really? basically, yeah. So, some states, right, they don't have homeschoolers can gather. My state, homeschoolers can gather. So, there was, like connections and things for homeschoolers to attend but i also didn't have to take any state standardized testing so uh some states do have that how did you get into college if you didn't have any what what did you apply on the basis of i guess well i'm going to community college so i guess you just need to have some money uh i actually just found out that my high school I don't have a diploma. I actually just found that out this year. Yeah, can I you, did can, not. Can you get into college? Can you get into community college if you don't have a diploma? You have like a GED I, or something? Uh, I mean, I, I apparently I did. So I guess it worked out. I actually, I'm going through all these courses. I'm planning to apply to their nursing program. And the reason I found out that my high school transcript doesn't work is because I need an accredited transcript to get into the nursing program. So after all of this college I'm going to go through, I then have to get my GED to apply. Okay, so you don't need a GED to go to community college, but you need it to get into the nursing program. Yes. So you're doing it kind of backwards. Yeah, it's real weird. I didn't know that you can get into community college without a high school diploma. I mean, I'm doing it. That So, like, if you could just... So if you wanted to, you don't even have to fucking go to elementary school. You could just start... <laughs> at community college (laughs) it might be different in different states because like my community college has a specific thing when you apply it says like did you graduate from public school ged or homeschool and you just gotta click that option they're like i guess that's good (laughs) okay so if you tell them they're homeschooled then they're like all right we you we'll give you a pass because yeah i guess so it's it's real weird people move to my state just to homeschool their kids because it's so lax what, um, what was I gonna say? What, uh, what's your relationship like with your parents now? Don't talk to them. You don't talk to them? No, they're terrible. <laughs> well, when's the last time it's you spoke sad. with them? Uh, spoke to my mom. I haven't talked to my dad in over two years. My mom, I keep in touch with every once in a while. So I talked to her kind of recently. We go. We go up and down. Uh, how, how does that... Is that something that you, you, you grieve about or... You mm, know? Grieve. Grieve. I've done a lot of grieving about that. I think that's the... Oh, basically, the thing that, like, cut off me and my parents as I came out as gay, and they were like, uh, no, that is satanic. And then kicked mm-hmm. me out of the house. So that was just a bunch of trauma and stuff. But um, I had to grieve. You're right. I had to grieve. And... I did. I let myself do that. And, 
I think I'm in a better place now because of it. Of course. Yeah. Um, well, that I mean, that's great that you were able to sort of form your own life after, after, you know, your parents weren't able to necessarily give it to you. Yeah, I got a good chosen family. I have a great girlfriend who I've been with for five years. She's been my rock. For five years, you say? Yeah, five years. What, what, have, has she ever met your parents? Uh, a couple times. Very briefly. We've known each other since we were 12, so... Uh, oh, okay. they've, she's like, we've kind of, they've, she's kind of met them, but not really. Uh, what, what was, what was that like? When, when, when did you come out to your parents? When I was 18, 18 or 19. What was that like? Awful. Really bad. I was, I had already moved out of their house because, uh, some other shit was going on and was living with a different church family. And when I came out to them, um, that family then told me, if you act, think on, or be gay we will kick you right back out so i kind of had to go back in the closet and um it was an awful awful time in my life <laughs> but I, I got through it no that's uh, that's so good that you got out of that you know yeah it's so it's so annoying that like you know fucking people are like that yeah <laughs> they told me I was going to lead people to hell. There was a, I was involved. It, it was a cult, right? My family was in like a cult. And uh, there was a guy. They, people would come up to us because they believed they had like gifts of visions and stuff. And he came up to me and he was like, after I came out, and he was like, I had a vision that you were going to lead people into a portal to hell. So that really broke my brain for a while. He had a vision yeah. that you were going to lead people into hell? Yeah. Yeah. He like... Um, it was it was a wild vision. It was like people they were totally fine, and then you were leading them through this portal, and they came out all scabby with scars, and um, they thought that they were okay, but they're actually not because of you. You're leading them to hell, and it was like a like a metaphor for gayness. Well, that's kind of badass, right? When you think about it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you turn it around. <laughs> Kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's cool. I mean, that's kind of like what, like, you know, heavy metal and shit is to me. It's like taking this stuff that's supposed to be bad and owning it as like, no, this is actually yeah. fucking cool. I'm leading motherfuckers into hell right now. You, you better fear me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um. What? What? Okay. So, so if you knew, you knew. Was it a community? Or was it just you, you were like the house down the street that was religious that no one talked to? Was it, because I'm curious about your girlfriend. Was your girlfriend from the similar community? No, no. We, uh, she was not, she did not grow up religious. Thank God. She, uh, her parents were atheists. But, um, it, yeah, it's weird how we met. A girl from my church invited me to one of her sleepovers and I met my future girlfriend there. But she went to school with this other girl. So, yeah, my family, we lived out in the boonies. Uh, we didn't celebrate Halloween. So, you know, like, we didn't talk to anybody from the community. Mm -hmm. But, like, you, the cult, though, that was the only thing we knew. Okay, so it was, so this was a cult. My parents were in a cult, yeah. It's it's mm -hmm. a little complicated. What sort of, tr I mean, it, this, this was, they weren't just, like, super real. What, what sort of traditions did they have that you think separated them from just being a f f fucking crazy church to being like, this is a cult? Um, well, there's a couple characteristics of cults, right? Like the um, cults want you to stop talking to your family members. So my family yeah. had cut off all communication from their family. There's like a thing called love bombing. And that's where when you like, you do the right thing, they like really praise you. So like my, like my parents were into like this very like, you know, spiritual kind of like shaking on the floor sort of worship service. I got into that because that's what I was told to do. So uh, a lot of like weird spiritual vision, spiritual warfare, demon fighting shit. It was weird. My parents like anointed the doors if they thought that uh, evil was going to come in the house. Anoint I guess what that's... does that mean to anoint a door? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> they would like take oil and anoint the door if they like especially during halloween because they thought that like demons would come in so they would like ado- anoint the doors with oh, oil <laughs> and like pray in tongues like trick-or-treaters yeah <laughs> i remember kids throwing eggs at our house because we would never give oh. them candy <laughs> My parents would lock us in the basement, actually, for Halloween. We would anoint the doors, Jesus and then they'd Christ. lock us in the basement. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> now that you say it like that, it, it, it makes me uh, rethink some things. But, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a ter- Halloween is a terrifying moment for, um, you know, strictly religious households. Because demon, because cause look, normally if you think that demons are going to show up at your door... You're you're crazy, but on look, on Halloween, there they might there. there might be demons showing up at your door. <laughs> They're That's there. terrifying. They are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what are you what are you what are you trying to be trying to be a nurse? You said you're going to nursing school. Yeah, going to trying to apply to the nursing program. So if I fail okay. all my biology classes, I'll have to do something else. But uh, we're gonna try not to do that. Well, you look, whatever you do, you know, you're, you're going to kill it, my friend. What, what did you say your name was? Oh, my name is Audrey. Audrey. Well, listen, Audrey, thank, thank you again for calling in, and, uh, you know, be- best of luck in school, my dude. Congratulations thank on you. escaping the cult. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking with me. You've really made my night. I oh, appreciate thank you, Gek. Thank you for calling in. You have a good rest of the night, Audrey. Yeah, you too. Good night. Good night.